Hello everyone, Brian Thomas here with the USA Trucks Maintenance Department here to talk about the APUs equipped on the Kenworths. Now not all the Kenworths will have the APUs, but the ones that do have them, I'm going to walk you through all the steps here on operating them. So first we're going to get inside the truck here. We're going to show you the control panels here and how to turn them on, how to run the heat seat, how to run the heat. All right, and also keep in mind these things will also keep your batteries charged as well. So inside we go and we'll show you how these things operate. All right, everyone, we're inside the truck here. We're actually in the driver's side sleeper area here, and we're going to look at both control panels for the APU. All right, the one on the top here is Thermo King. All right, this is actually for the APU. This is what's going to keep your batteries charged and run the AC. And then right below that, the S bar. All right, so the S bar is actually the heat portion of the APU. All right, now sometimes these control panels are flip flop, nothing to be concerned with as long as they're there. So right now, I'm going to turn this on, but before we do that, we'll explain that you got to have the key to the off position. All right, when you're running the APU. You can't run both together. There's actually a setting in the in the APU uh, that's programmed to prevent that. All right, so um, and we'll kind of get in that uh, detail a little bit later here. So um, first things first, we're gonna turn this on. Okay, so to turn it on, we're gonna go to our power button. All right, which is the far left side here. Now when we're hitting this power button, it's not gonna come on. You gotta press and hold once everything lights up. All right, and it's all lit up. You're now ready to go. So this is all powered up. So what I was referring to earlier is what we were calling standby mode. So standby mode means that you had the APU on and you have turned the truck to the on position. So um, when you turn the truck in the on position, it kicks this off and prevents it from running while your truck is running. So when you turn that key off, this, as long as it's powered up, will automatically go to battery charge mode. So if you're on a vacation, home time, or anything of that sort, maybe you're away from your truck for for a minute all right and you want to make sure the batteries stay charged you will just keep this powered up so as long as this is powered up and your keys on the off position this will automatically come on to charge your batteries all right so um, just kind of keep that in mind all right um, so right now we're going to pick a setting here we want to go to AC mode first okay so we want to show you how to run the air conditioning all right so what we're going to do we're going to flip over to that little snowflake here that's the air conditioning mode flip that to the cold all right and then turn this fan on all right, and that's all there is to the air conditioning mode. So um, it takes about a minute for the blower to come on, the APU comes on, then that compressor kicks in, starts cooling the truck immediately, and this will stay on until you turn it off, okay? All right, um, it will not stop. So now that we have the uh, the air conditioning, so we're gonna turn the heat on, so just say we wanna operate the heat, okay? And operate the heat, you can't have this fan blow blower on, okay? All right, you're not gonna get heat out of that, okay? We're gonna flip this over to the middle, flip this over to the middle, we're now back on just battery charge mode. So anytime the battery drops to 12.3, APU is going to kick on, keep the batteries charged, all right, until uh, um, the batteries are charged, and then it will kick back down. So you want to make sure that's on before operating the heat, or otherwise your heat will kick off by the LVD that kicks off when the batteries start to drop too low, all right? So now we're going to go to the S-Bar heater. We're going to turn this thing on. So right now it says heater stopped. I'm going to hit it, and it's going to light up and say heater stopped again, hit it a second time, says heater enabled, and then we're just gonna pick a temperature, whatever uh, setting that you want, all right? And then another thing to keep in mind is that little 10 hour mark there, that's a 10 hour markdown timer, so once you start the APU, that's 10 hour timer starts, so keep that in mind, just say if you're in a truck for um, longer than 10 hours, you're getting ready to go to bed, you may wanna turn this thing off, all right, and let it sit for about a minute, then turn it back on, and that will enable your um, um, 10 hours to reset. So um, uh, that would operate, the, or the heater will run the entire time you're sleeping. So um, you just want to kind of keep that in mind. Now, again, at this point in time, when we were referenced standby mode earlier, all right, just say if we uh, were to go over and start the truck, if we went over and start the truck, this heater is going to kick off automatically, and this is going to kick off on standby mode. A little light will come on over here, uh, right there where it's you can actually see the abbreviation there and it will light up and show us in standby mode so once you turn the key off remember this is already powered up it's going to stay powered up so it's automatically going to go on battery charge mode okay so um but uh just say you turn the key off and you want the ac or the heat you're going to come back here and hit the setting again other one that if you're just uh uh, leaving the truck you can um, keep the APU on to make sure your batteries stay charged so all right and again if you have any questions you can stop at any USA truck maintenance terminal here and we'll be more than happy to get, to get inside there walk you through any more steps answer any questions that you have all right a couple other things that we're going to show you outside here um, on this training video and that will include this training video for the APU um, operation all right so let's uh, get on outside here and uh, show you a couple more steps there and then we'll conclude this video All right, so we're back outside here with the APU. We're gonna walk you through three more steps here. And now we're gonna include this training video for the APU here, the tri-packs equipped on the Kenworth. So 
Uh, first step what we want to cover here is actually checking the oil. So you want to check the oil on these frequently just as you do um, the truck. So this is going to take the same oil as the truck you can pick up at any USA truck terminal. All right. All right. And checking the oil is pretty simple. So we're just going to go down here. We're going to flip these little latches here. There's two of them on each side there. All right. And that's going to pull that little flap over. All right. And this is actually where we're going to check our oil. So we got our dipstick right here to check our oil. And then we got our cap here that we'd have to remove to add the oil. So if you're unfamiliar doing this, you can stop at any USA truck terminal. We can walk you through checking and adding the oil there. Again, this takes the same oil as your truck. You can pick up at any USA truck terminal. All right. Second thing that we want to go down to over here is actually the power switch. Okay. So this is the power switch to the APU. So if I flip this off, this APU is not going to work. Okay. So if I flip it back on, the APU will actually operate now. There's been a few times drivers have come in here went a few days without an APU and come to find out their switch was off. And what we come to determine is sometimes at the shipyards, they don't like noise. They'll come over here and flip that off on you. And then sometimes if you're on um, going to a shop, you know, uh, maybe over the road or something, maybe you got a light on something on the trailer or maybe a tire on the trailer or something of that sort. All right. And they don't like the exhaust fumes in their shops. So they'll come over here and flip this off. And then, of course, don't tell anyone about it. So if you have trouble getting your APU started, you might want to make sure that that switch is on so all right and then the last thing we're going to cover this is the exhaust actually for the s-bar here we were talking about in there on the control panel so when you're running your exhaust now sometimes this is not something you can do um, all the time but you just want to try to keep you know your your truck facing the wind all right because you don't want a lot of back wind coming into this all right when you're trying to operate your heat there so that can't always be done but if you can um, that will help your heater run more efficient. So just wanted to walk you through those three steps. So, all right, thanks for taking the time watching this video. Hope you learned a lot. And if you have any questions, again, stop it in the USA Truck Terminal. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have and help you with anything. You have a great day.